Hi everybody! Greetings my friends! It's the Jim and Dave's Beer, Beer Review. Review! Darn it. Tecumseh. Maybe later. <laughs> Dave! Uh, yeah. What's on tap for this beer review? Uh, Victory White Monkey. Victory White Monkey! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey! Hooray! White Monkey! Greetings White Monkey! Hey, Dave. Uh, what did you what? just do that for? What's white monkey? Uh, monkey that's white. Oh, okay. No, actually, I had to get a bottle opener. <laughs> I have one in my pants. I mean, actually, I didn't need a bottle opener. This thing's got a cork. What did I bother that for? <laughs> that was a waste of time. We're we're, we're well prepared here. To you do know why it's got it. a cork? Uh, because... Do you know why it's got a cork? Do you know why? Why, Dave, does it have a cork? Because it's white wine barrel aged Belgian triple. What? What? Wait, who? It's a white wine. And white wine, wine has barrel. barrel. White wine. It's a wine. And what wine uh, has its cork? How much wine could a white barrel have no, wine if a white barrel wine, wine, wine has got a cork? Ah! You see? All right. Or, or I thought maybe the brewer was a, like arguing with his wife and she told him to put a cork in it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Darren. Anyway, if you guys could have seen him run around the room, yes, that would have with been my funny. pants off. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Why do you never want to see me? Next? You asked, we answered. Or white right. monkey is back. Was it Three gone? months spent in white wine barrels impacts district distinct notes. Distinct district district district, district nine notes. notes. Nine. That's a good movie. It's um, for three months in white Vanilla wine and barrels. Woody Tannins. Our beloved Golden Monkey matures is an even more decadent direction. Distinct notes of vanilla, as they say in China. Vanilla. No, the Chinese people say vanilla because they don't have We're not name. in China. Oh, aren't we now? <laughs> I'm not. Well, I think you're an honorable asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that's Japanese. You might be in China. I'm in the United States, Sonny. Right. It just feels like it around here. I know. There's all these people around me. They're all like, oh, why don't I talk like that? Because you said you're an asshole. Right. <laughs> We're an honorable asshole. You're, you're no, you're not even honorable. You're just an asshole. Excuse me, I'm nothing but. <laughs> you're a but, all right. Yeah. Instead of a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dave, when you sit around your house, you said around your house. <laughs> That's, That's what good. she said before I got thin. Right. That's right. It says, uh, and what do you... Tannins from American, what's that say? Blend I have no idea. Of, the, the font really sucks the, on I, that. I know. Uh, take a look at this. Does that look like a white piece? Of, yeah. Yeah. See? see, thank you very much for the lighting on that. Yeah, that helps. It's like a light font on a, like a light background. Unbelievable. That's even better. Look, red on red. Look, 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 look. Red on red. Yeah. There you go. I mean, at least give it a you know white drop shadow or something that can pop off a little bit. But oh, we don't yeah. do drop shadows. They're out of style. Well, you guys over here in in, in Victory. So anyway, like, oh, beautifully blah blah blah, fruit and spice characters. Blah blah blah. It's Belgian style triple. So it's basically a Belgian style triple. We just took three minutes and thirty. Our glory philosophy, <laughs> red on red. <laughs> Come on, really? I haven't I haven't seen a, a worse package design since uh, since uh, what is that? Uh, Flying Fish's uh, label redesign. I like hey. Flying Fish's beer. I've been getting no, Flying I like Fish's the beer, beer, but I like it when they have the extra You know what I like about Flying Fish's beer? They got a lot of high ABV beers that are not too expensive. I know. That Blueberry uh, Braggot is awesome. Their Exit Series beer has got some really good high ABV beers. Are you kidding me, Jim? Are you kidding me? Give me this damn thing. Oh, come on, you wuss. Oh, hey, you're such a wussy. Yeah, look, well, you got the same glasses. That's important. <laughs> well, you don't have a lot of matching glasses, Jim. This is true. That's because I go to like all these different tastings. They're like, here, have a glass. Can I have two? It's like, no, you gonna buy some? No. No. I'm cheap. But give that one back. I right, see you later. I'm cheap. You take it easy. I'm cheap. You go do that thing, and I'm gonna have a beer. I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I'm not cheap. I'm just. Frugal. Penny wise and pound foolish. Frugal. I'm frugal. Frugal. 
So on the label here is a Buddha with an all-seeing eye, and he's covering up his mouth and eyes and ears. It's just that gold monkey I have. Oh, cool case that's like two. Years and you know old. the monkeys see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Except this is one monkey with a big eye and his fat belly. Big eye, big eye. Uh -huh. Yeah, just like my gold Actually, monkey. Actually, it looks like a uh, uh, Order of the Cross from Germany. That's not too cool. Gold monkey. Now it works. See, I can always start it once in a while. I don't know. It happens. All right. Here is some information about Tales of the Gold Monkey and Inter. Tell. Hey, I want to hear that. <laughs> she Not spoke to me and she said, okay. All right. Well, Dave, this looks very nice. Very clear. <sighs> very crisp looking. A little bit of carbonation. It smells good, too. It smells like Belgian triple. Do you smell any whiny characteristics? I'm whining. Tiny, tiny, whiny characteristics? Tiny, whiny, 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 tiny, whiny, whiny, tiny, whiny, whiny, tiny, whiny, whiny, tiny, whiny, 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 do you like chicky the chicken banana? banana. Right, blah, blah, blah. You're welcome. Can you hold it by the handle so you can do that properly? <laughs> Are you ready? Hey, look at this. <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> Screw you, handle. Ready? <laughs> yes, let's do it over you. Thanks. Cheers, everybody. Handles. Banana. Clove, banana. Well, it's a little bit of a wine characteristic. Banana. But, um. Banana. Was it worth putting in wine barrels? I mean, no. it's a good beer to start with. Yeah. I think, I think I'm wine, not impressed. I think, yeah. Yeah, all that hype for nothing. No, I mean, not for nothing. It's still a good triple. If you like Belgian triples, you'll like this. You know, it's fine. I mean, it's. What's the ABV? Did we get to that? IBUs, ABVs? No? Wait, where's my phone? Hold on. Uh, Belgian style triple, aged in white wine. Nine point five. All right, well that's good. And this is uh, yeah, it's an average nowadays. Seven hundred fifty milliliter. Yeah, bottle conditioned. That's because it's a big boy. No. I'm not impressed. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's fine. Nothing wrong with it, but it's not like, hey, that's no. And this was a big deal too. It's just like. We have a limited amount. Ooh, well, that makes me want to buy it. Then you get this. and Actually, they have that in Acme. There was no price on it, though. Is that just... where you got it from Acme? No, but I, I bought it from KOP. But, you know, and it was like 20-something, uh, I think, maybe, or 18, or is it 21? I forget. But I thought, well, Acme's got it. What if Acme is like 10 bucks? I was like, did I just pay like double for this? That I what did you pay for that? I think like 20 range. Day, way. Well, it's a, you know, it's kind of... Although the uh, DKML was 50, 15 bucks, so. You did 20? Maybe it was 18. 18? Yeah. yeah. Dragon milk, what? Yeah, I know, you can get like dragon milk for that much, right? But, no, that's. Well, yeah, but that's. I don't think it's that big, though. That's not 2750, is it? Yeah. 10? Yeah, well, it's 10 at Acme, yeah. And that's nice. I'd rather have a dragon milk for ten than with this for this price. Even though it's I, I got two dragons milk for this. Yeah. Oh well, so yeah, I mean it's fine, it's a decent triple, but you know. I Did guess you say we're... rip off? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'd give you money if I wasn't broke. Yeah, well that's okay. I had a bonus. I got a raise. Oh congratulations. Six percent. Wow, that's nice. That's two years for me. Yeah, well, it's been five or seven since the last one, so. Really? Okay. I thought you got one like two years ago. Mm, maybe I did. I don't remember. I don't you think deserve so. it because you work hard and you work yeah. often. Yeah, I worked seven weeks with no day off for That's seven crazy. weeks. crazy. Yeah. Well, we were busy and it was much appreciated. And I was taken care of. He's like, oh, I thank you so much for coming out. I'm going to take care of you. Don't worry, two years from now when they all retire and you're always out of job. You're yeah, like, that's, Damn, this sucks. that's the other thing. Oh, yeah, we're finally out of the hole now. We're finally making a profit. It's just like... Are and you? we're retiring now. Yeah, it's just like, all right, now, now we're at debt. See you. Good luck. You're talented. We're well, sure you're fine. <laughs> and you're like, damn, what are we going to do now? That's why it's time to monetize these beer reviews because all you out there care about all this nonsense, don't you? 
There's nothing like watching two mediumly overweight white guys at middle age talking about beer. How can you not love that? I probably said that before. Hey, you know. Anyway, it's only 10 minutes. I was We're watching a thing on, on about monetizing your, your show and stuff. Thank you, Dave. That's very helpful. You're welcome. Although the guy I saw at the bar the other day, he was talking about the Santa Claus guy who does beer reviews. He's like, he's doing over 2,000 reviews. I'm like, I know. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> we got a long way to go. Yeah. So cheers. cheers. Dave, what do you think about the flavor? I, I like it. It, it kind of reminds me of a, of a poor man's Old Dominion uh, uh, candy. <laughs> yeah. It's a little more watery than candy, I think. Yeah, it, it tries to do the job, but it doesn't quite get there. I mean, it's obviously a Belgian triple. It's got the clothes. You can notes. buy 24 beers for $40 when you can buy two of these for $40. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always thought, you know, I like Victory, don't get me wrong. I always thought their stuff was a little bit overpriced. Like they had this one. Don't get me wrong, you can buy a whole case of Storm King Stout for $40. Or you can buy two of these for forty dollars. Well, I know they. So which one do you want to do? Victory had Java cask, and I was just like, "Oh, this is great." Mm -hmm. And it's like, "Oh, it's a coffee stout. It's Asian bourbon barrels." I'm like, "That's great." And I thought the coffee is so overpowering. Why did you even bother with the really? bourbon barrels? Really? Because you know what? You can buy a whole case of Gold Monkey for forty dollars, or you can buy two of these for forty dollars. Yeah, I don't. Really? Think, I don't think the wine barrels. Out. I like anything barrels. I generally like. I don't get that much vanilla. Wow. And I, the wine, yeah, it tastes like there's a hint of wine, but that's more of a sour quality. I don't know if I want a sour quality to a, a Belgian triple. Are you sure? No, I have no idea how much it costs, to be honest with you. Yeah, it could have been cheaper than that. Maybe it was 15 Still. Yeah, still. Still. Oh, really? Well. And then it's just like, oh, it's... Da, da, da. Wow. Whatever. I want to give you a couple of beers of the Golden Monkey when you go when you go to my house tomorrow just to make up for what you paid for this. Oh, I appreciate that. I'll take it. Oh, my God. I'll take it. Well, there we are, 12 minutes. So, my thoughts, it does taste like a Belgian triple. Oh. It does have your banana notes, your heavier clove notes. Uh, the wine is somewhat present. I'm taking my liquor. Uh, the, don't get a whole lot of vanilla that they talk about from the oak. Um, you know, it's a fine triple. If you like triples, you'll like it, but... Ah, uh, is it worth the price? Eh. You know, buy, go halfers with a buddy and mitigate it because it's like, yeah, whatever. Maybe you go in with like five or six people. Yeah, you just have a taste. <laughs> God, well, yeah, that's the thing. If you're in a flight club, then, you know, maybe it's like, oh, here, have it. It's share it. But, yeah, it's fine. I'll give this, um, what do you think out of 10, Dave? Seven. I'm disappointed. I, I, I can't even be that generous. I had something I thought was a seven the other day, and this is a six point. I'm let down by the price. Yeah, I'm a, it's, it's a really 6.75. I can't give it quite a seven. I'm talking price, taste, let down, yeah. bad. Sorry, yeah. we're at 13 well, minutes. Well, I, I have to say that's kind of typical for a victory. No, not really because have, we got Dirt Wolf. Well, it's bottle conditioned. We got Dirt Wolf. We got Storm King Stout. Well, Storm King Stout's got, fine. Dirt got, is awesome. We got, what, what, there's other kinds of, 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 of the, come on, we got victory here. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, some victories are fine. You're right. That's I, bad. I don't want to sound like I'm dissing them. I love I'm dissing breweries. victory at this moment with this beer. I am. That's bad. Well, maybe the wine barrels just add that huge extra cost to it. I'm sorry, did the cork cost that much? Well. Cork and cage. Bar barrels of anything are in cork demand. Cork and cage. Cork and cage, that's what they call it. And that's bad. Yeah. Sorry. So there you have bad. it. All right, seven for Dave, 6.75 for me. That's it. Uh, generally, it's fine. If you guys like it more than us, you want to give it eight, comment below, tell us why. Uh, it is bottle condition, so maybe we should have let it lay down for a little bit. Maybe it would have mellowed. Maybe it would have, who knows. Let's but, sit there for five years and see what we think about it afterwards. Yeah. What was the ABV? 9.5. Yeah, I don't know if I go longer than a year or two with that, but... I don't like to generally age anything over more than a year if it's not at least 10 ABV, but that's me. That's my experience. So real quick, um, Surgeon General says, don't drink and drive, don't drink if you're pregnant, don't operate heavy machinery, drink too much can make you sick or ill or bad for your health, whatever. And the reason we try these beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. And have a good laugh with your friends. And that's what it's all about, with your friends and, and we family. love you. Yeah, there we go. Let's go back to the label here. Hey, we're professionals. We'll show you the label. And uh, so there we have it. Thanks, everybody. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and all that other YouTube stuff that everybody else always says. YouTube. 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 Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave.